why do people desire dominance in any sort? In sort of money, strength, uh, ability? Simple reason, simple. Survival, physical survival. See, you look at animals. If you want to understand human mind, you must look at animals. Because that's where we are coming from. In a group of animals, who survives? The strongest, the, one. the strongest one. The one who can dominate. In a group of males, who gets the female? They would fight amongst each other and who would get the female? The one who can win and kill everybody else. That's what happens in animals. Kill the others or dominate them or injure them and then you have access to the female. And that is what is called survival of the fittest and the Darwinian selection and all that. And because of that, the offsprings that are born, they are born out of the strongest male. And so the species gets strengthened and strengthened and strengthened. So physically, we are conditioned to be violent and dominating. All that is there in our physiology. But we can go beyond that. At least after the age of 12, we can go beyond that. The child cannot be expected to go beyond that. We can. We must. If we are to be human, we must go beyond that. Why does society have taboos? Why does society exist? Because human is such an animal. Who told you that? My third grade. <laughs> and you are still in the third grade, are you? No, I'm not. Then? Uh, why must you hear? What can you hear? Only the words said by others. Why can't you know yourself? Are we really animals yet? Neither social nor animals. We are individual human beings. We are individual human beings. Neither social nor animal. Hmm? Now why does society exist? You tell me. You are living in it. You are asking, huh, why does it exist? It's, isn't it one of the most basic questions that you must ask? Why must the society exist? Because uh, it's been unsafe. Ah, so society exists because of fear. Yeah, because even animals live in groups. Uh, not because they want to defend themselves against predators. Anything in a big group, they can help each other. They can help each other survive and fight back the aggressor. So the foundation of society is fear. fear. And when you are fear, what do you do? When you are in fear, what do you do? Or you? Some kind of violence will take place. Yes. yes? When you are in fear, you want everybody to tow your line. You do not want creative intelligence. You want to move along a single line. The line of safety. You do not want deviant behaviors. The society does not like individuals. Because the individual is not afraid. The society is always afraid. The individual is never afraid. It's obvious that the society does not like the individual. That is the reason why the society keeps on harassing and punishing the individual. Society rewards those who tow its line. They are given all the medals and decorations. And those who are really individuals, they are punished by the society. Because the individual is not afraid. He walks his own path. He creates his own path. Society says, no, move along only this path. In other paths, there is danger. 